Alright, welcome back. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, okay. Alright. <sighs> mm. oh, where am I? Oh, yeah. There's a reason why I want to get up here so badly. <laughs> That was weird. Not sure what just happened, but okay. Jump. Okay. Do you have it? Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Do you have it? There it is. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are wondering why Mega Man doesn't have his, his trademark helmet. You will see that <coughs> relatively soon. And this is also why I didn't go to the shop. Flat jacket. Oh, motherfucker. That increases my defense. It reduces the damage by a fourth, which is really helpful. Alright, um... <coughs> the thing I mentioned about the metal going apart during, around the health, that's referred to as the shield. This repairs it, because after a certain amount of damage, it just stays open. Which you don't want. Ooh. Attack and energy, energy... Ugh, what the hell? Uh. Attack and energy, energy and range. Energy would be three, attack one, range two. Uh. That's kind of interesting. Let's do that. Yeah, when you actually buy them, they leave the inventory. Because you only have one of each. Actually, I'll just buy you out. Get another energy pack. <coughs> no. Buster parts. Equip. Um, I'll do. And sniper unit. See how our gun looks like now, huh? <coughs> I'm gonna get the uh, helmet before I go and fight the next boss. Energy refers to how many shots you can make. Remember, it, was, it used to be three, now it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. About seven, I think. And I have a good range now, so. Oop, there we go. Jump. Ah, oh, then jump. Seizure. Okay. I just recommend to keep running. You can dodge with most of that. <laughs> and I could do it, you have to press circle to go through caves, which is kind of weird. Alright. There we go. I know I'm cheap. Not let the enemies attack me. They kind of fixed that, um little glitch, I guess you can call it, in the next set of this game. <laughs> Granted, I don't have very many of these type of uh, opponents, so. I don't remember, it's been a really long time since I played the second game, let alone this one. Although, I, I do remember most of this game, like, insanely. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will miss this, but there's a little flower here. If you walk up to it and press circle, you pick it. Um, <coughs> there are certain things you can get for roll. This isn't where I need to go, this is just another dick site I'm going through. There are certain things you can get for roll. It doesn't really do anything, but it's, you know, nice. And even though she's just a bunch of ones and zeros, I always like to be nice to people that, you know, help me. Even if it's just a game. I guess that makes me a little weird, but, eh. Hey, another one of these walls. Oop. Okay. Jump. Jump. Oop. 1,780. Nice. 
I need around 9,000, was it? Yeah, around there for the flat jackets. I'm gonna save up my Zenny. Trap. There are some of those around. They're really easy to get past, just, you know, once they, see it, once they say it's a trap, just back up and start shooting it. How to, um, skip through those little dialogues. As you notice, I'm doing it pretty quickly sometimes. <coughs> just keep pressing triangle. Sorry. Alright. Get you guys down here. Eh, screw you two. I'd probably jump this. Huh. Yep, thought so. It's definitely a lot easier than running through that uh, walkway. Alright, let's get this part mapped out so I know there's nothing over here. Okay. You'll probably see me use the map a lot when I get to the bigger dungeons. And this is just my cheap way of getting rid of these guys. <coughs> they, um, start flashing red, which means they're going to explode when you get close to them. Jump. Cannon kit. Crap. Oh, crap. A second one there? That was a little odd. Can I get? Damn it. Oh well. <coughs> so we have a cannon kit now. Wonder what that does. And now I'm safe. <laughs> and you'll probably see me do that a lot, go through these dungeons without getting hurt much. And this is where I need something special to get up there, so let's head back. <coughs> That's such a weird little sound that his sh shoes make. Alright. <coughs> well, I think that cannon kit I can use to make something, so... Pretty sure I can. So let's use our walkie-talkie and go see Roll. Hmm. Can I use it here? Nope. Ooh. Knocked something over. Oh well. Oh, uh, before- oh, wait. <laughs> 9,000. Let's go see if I can get that, um, uh, flat jacket. If you do sell um, your Buster Parts to the junk shop. I believe it comes, it, that what you sold comes up for sale <laughs> in the shop, so. You don't have to worry about losing it if you sell it. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to test that later. If I remember. <laughs> they don't see me, so they can't attack me. That's one of the things I like about this game. The enemies actually have blind spots where they don't see you. So you actually can't sneak up on enemies. Mm, yeah. <coughs> Problem is, most monsters are always moving, so... <coughs> Excuse me. You can't really exploit that little weakness. Ow. Yeah. Alright, let's get that flat jacket. 
special fly jacket. Yosh. And now I have <coughs> greater defense. <coughs> Excuse me. Damn. Anyway, um, this game really plays on the concept of empowerment and disempowerment. It's the concept of empowerment is the concept of getting all these upgrades, and then you can kill creatures quicker, and it's more fun that way. But it also has the disempowerment aspect, where you can choose to do that or not. You know, it's not like you level up and you permanently get that much stats, like Fa Fancy or Chrono Cross. Something, yeah, Chrono Cross. So. Let's say I wanted a greater challenge. I would unequip all my my armor, my uh, other equipment, and <coughs> I won't be able to deal as much damage. But I will be able to get, you know, other stuff. Item development, yes. I won't be able to get other stuff, I'd be able to do certain things. Power Buster, special weapon. There, so I'll make you a new weapon. The weapon has a really long range and has a pretty good punch, but its ra rate of fire isn't that great. Don't forget that when you get into a fight. Okay? Safety helmet was used to make a helmet. Resize the helmet to fit you perfectly. If you wear this, you won't get knocked down by enemy attacks as easily as before. You'll survive long falls, even if some <laughs> someone throws you off a cliff. Of course, you're not invulnerable, so you should be careful, but I would be. I bet it'll come in handy if you get into a fight in a high place. Hint, hint. Uh, change. I like the power buster over the splash mine. There it is. Uh, can I enhance it? 3,000. 5,000. I can enhance the range. Excuse me, range, amount of ammo, firepower. I'm gonna save my Zenny. Talk. That sure is a pretty flower. You can have it. Now, <coughs> it has a cosmetic effect, the flower and certain other things. Um, later on, you'll be able to see where she puts all the all the stuff all the stuff you give her. All right. <coughs> so we now have his trademark helmet. <laughs> You probably won't see me wear it all that often, though. I don't like it. I'll probably use it for, like, boss fights and whatnot, but when it's, like, you know, normal fights, it's like, eh, why, why do I want to wear it? Besides, I like his hair. <coughs> it makes him less of a robot. Alright, so, this is the Power Buster. Luckily for me, though, there's a, um, uh, Data's at the end of this area, at uh, the next area. <coughs> but now that I have the helmet, the, uh, shop will start selling enhancements for it. See if they have any. I'm not sure if they just have it yet, but... Let's see. Not bad. The Kevlar jacket, which decreases, <laughs> reduces damage by half. That's nice. There's one more after this, I think. Uh, Kevlar Omega, which decreases damage by three fourths. I'm not sure on that though. <laughs> Ooh, that's tempting. Now. <laughs> 